even though I'm about to sign up for Prezi, I'm actually in my Google Docs account to start. This is my Jeffco Google Docs, so it ends in at jeffcoschools.us. Yours has your ID number here. Just noting that now that we have your mail turned on for this account, you are able to sign up for educational versions of some of our web tools, which can be quite an advantage. So before I sign up for Prezi, I'm probably going to be logged into my Google Apps account. I'm definitely going to have the school web page open in another tab. And so I'm just going to open a new tab in Google Chrome and I'm going to type rvmustangs.org. Then in yet one other tab, I'm going to open Prezi.com. Now that you have a school email account, you are able to sign up for Prezi's educational version, which gives you privacy and a little bit more storage space. So when you go to sign up for Prezi, you now have different options. I'm clicking the sign up button. Typically, before we had school email, we all just went with the public account. But you can see it, it doesn't let you have the ability to make your content private. And it only gives you 100 megabytes of storage space. And that's sufficient for many of you. And some of you will still choose just to get the free version. If you want just the free version that's not the student version, you'll click Get. You'll fill in your first name, last name. You don't even need to use your real name. You'll use your email. This can be your private email. It doesn't even need to be your real email account, but it will be your username. So remember what you decide. You'll pick a password and type it again. Now, if you give them a fake email, you won't be able to recover this password because if you forget your password, they send it to your email. The nice thing about this free account is once you click the terms of use and click register, you're all ready to go. You don't need to check your email. You never need to activate things. You are ready to start using Prezi. However, some of you might want a little more storage space and want the ability to make your Prezi's private. So you will go back and instead of choosing the free account, you'll use the student or teacher license. I'm going to click go and look at some of the differences. So there's the public account over here. You can see the free educational account does let me make my content private, use my own logos, gives me more storage space. It is only for students and teachers, so you have to have kind of a school email account that looks like it came from a school, which you do. So you're going to click get if you want this one, and I'll walk you through the steps. Now you can't use your personal email. If I tried to use my Gmail account, it would not work. So you're going to type in the one that's your ID number at Jeffco schools.us again and that is in your Google Docs account. If you're not sure what it was, you can go right back to your docs and you can see your login name right up here at the top. And we can go back to Prezi and I'm going to click continue. Now it wants to know some information. So it wants to know your school name, the city, and the web address. So that's why I have the Ralston Valley homepage open in another tab and I will just copy this address, go back to my Prezi tab, and I will paste it in. You have to confirm that you're an active student at that school and then you click continue. Alright, so I'm pretty much finished. A confirmation email has been sent to me. To finalize the registration process, I have to click on that link. So then I would go back. I already have my Google Docs um, email open across the top. I can see the mail icon. And so I would go into my Jeffco email, the one that ends in at jeffcoschools.us, and inside my inbox which would be an email from Prezi. I just need to open that and click the link.